Hi, my name is Noah, and I'm a PhD student in biostatistics at the University of Southern California. I've created this short video to share with you the motivation for my dissertation research. Air pollution, even at low levels, is linked with asthma and problems breathing, but the how part is not entirely clear. Biomarkers are a promising tool for understanding the black box that links air pollution exposure and asthma. What are biomarkers? Biomarkers are measurements collected in many common medical tests that help us predict health outcomes. For example, high cholesterol found in blood tests is a risk factor for coronary heart disease. Biomarkers fired in exhaled breath are super cool because they are non-invasive. Blowing air into a detector beats blood tests. However, there's always however, at the moment, data on excelled breath biomarkers is relatively noisy. An obvious way to improve accuracy is to improve the measurement tools, but that could be expensive. Another way is to improve the statistical tools used to linking these biomarkers to health outcomes. I work with excelled nitric oxide, in short, excelled NO, a breath biomarker that tends to be higher in people exposed to air pollution and higher in people with asthma. So how does it go? Exposure to air pollution causes airway inflammation. Airway inflammation causes increased production of NO in the lungs. This NO can be detected by simply exhaling into an analyzer. But it gets better. The biological processes that causes NO production can be described by a physiological mathematical model. So not only that NO help us detect airway inflammation, we can use statistics to learn where exactly in the lungs NO is produced without actually cutting open a human body. It takes time to develop asthma. Tracking Excel NO help us open the black box and see how air pollution exposure causes asthma. That could give us an early warning sign that something is wrong, way before the disease. What do I do? I work on a cutting-edge statistical methods too. Find the best way to perform the exhalation test. Should you breathe fast or slow? How many times? Find the best way to analyze the results. My work can dramatically improve our ability to find the links between air pollution, excelled nitric oxide, and asthma. While my research is focused on excelled nitric oxide, the statistical methods I work with could be used in a wide range of scientific topics.